recipes on the website at caribbeanpod.com and one of the most common sort of complaints because sometimes it's very hateful why it is you doing fried rice recipes I urge you yes you check the history of the Caribbean and the part that the Chinese have played the last 150 years or so my math could be a little bit wrong but it's over 100 years after the abolition of slavery start there and you'll know why fried rice is such a commonplace thing in the Caribbean this one is a little bit different I have about four cups of rice three and a half cups of rice in the fridge leftover rice this is just parboiled brown rice that's been um, boiled in salted water and it's been in the fridge cold rice makes a better fried rice we've talked about that before chilled rice I've got here five string beans that I chopped up about six chives two cloves of garlic some cherry tomato and the cherry tomato the chive and the green bean is all from my garden one can of tuna half of a large onion we've got light soy sauce mushroom soy sauce no light soy sauce mushroom soy sauce oyster sauce if you want to hit it with a little bit of black pepper or white pepper totally up to you if you do the egg thing totally up to you I do not like eggs in fried rice that's about it you'll need a couple of tablespoons of vegetable oil so quick 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 lunch tuna fried rice yeah man I'm using a wok because of the high sides it means if things spill over I might have to clean up that stove you know what I mean because yo man it's pressure to clean this stove it's pretty but I'm telling you boy it's hard to, to maintain it's for people this stove is designed Samsung I hope all you listen <laughs> stick to phones this stove is designed for people who want a pretty kitchen and do and Uber Eats is their best friend <laughs> anyhow <laughs> warm pan yeah use a frying pan totally up to you a couple tablespoons of oil in there as i said i'm gonna go in with my onion and i'm gonna go in with my garlic <laughs> okay so like so okay along with the uh the green beans yeah and that's just chopped up nicely there <laughs> give that a little stir and the other reason for using a wok and you know if you ever watch their masters and them out east out there use a walk. They use the sides and everything with that up, that sort of back and forth motion and you know, the real skill. Because all the sides here, that heat goes up and you can use the entire surface there. It's a bigger cooking surface than your typical um, pan. You know what, I will add a tiny bit of black pepper to this. You know, and if, if you haven't <laughs> had this trouble, you probably wouldn't understand the use of tuna and canned fish and canned corned beef and all kind of thing like that. The trick here is to have everything prepped and ready because fried rice is one of them quick, quick, quick dishes, man. And all we're going to do is smash up that tuna in there, give that a little stir just to warm it through. And you're in control here. This is um, chunky tuna. You can break it up as much as you want, or you can leave it you know, into big pieces. So I'm doing a combination of both there, yeah? At this point, I've got my oyster sauce, my light soy sauce, and my mushroom flavored soy sauce. And I hit that a little, stir, stir, turn up my heat just a little bit. And I won't add any salt to this dish because those soy sauces will have that sodium element. The, <clears throat> the tuna will be packed in sodium as well too. In goes that rice and like I said it's pre-cooked and chilled rice that I had in the fridge. Crush that up. Yeah. All we need to do is pretty much warm this through. Mix this up thoroughly. And I'm telling you don't hate on it before you give it a try. That tuna in there is just brilliant in my humble opinion. And I'm eating a, a wicked lunch, tasty Tuesday meal. Uncle Chris eating a good lunch today. At this point, tomato. Boom, straight out of the garden. Optional, eh? 
If you haven't started using mushroom flavored soy sauce yet, I highly recommend you get on that wagon because that thing just best, yeah? Final little thing, that chives. In there, if you want to use scallion, green onion, whatever you like using, you can do that. Now remember I said I don't like eggs in my fried rice. If eggs is your thing, you like eggs, I mean to say organize accordingly. Sup soldiers, listen, if you enjoy this recipe, I'd really appreciate it if you hit subscribe and click that bell notification thing. If you've made the recipe, take a picture and send it to me, email address down here. I'm really trying to tell people the email address, them butts will take me address and do all kind of thing with it. And tag me on Instagram at Caribbean Pod. I really appreciate you guys and thanks for being in my kitchen with me today. Irene, Irene. Another thing you have to remember when working with the wok, because the flame goes up the side and I'm using a gas stove, you've got to put a cloth or something on the handle, but that handle will warm up on you like no tomorrow. And next thing you know, you need to go into your room trying to figure out, well, Uncle Chris didn't warn me about that hot handle boy. So, you've been warned. Irene, it's, it's warm through. And just look at the vibrancy, the colors and everything. And you, you, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Let's talk about this for a second. Mushroom bell pepper, zucchini, anything you like in your fried rice or you have in your fridge. And your fried rice is one of them dishes. In my house, I don't purposely make fried rice as a meal. I make fried rice when I have leftover rice in the fridge and I try to clear out what I have left over in the fridge as well too, yeah? Chris here at CaribbeanPod.com. Always a pleasure having you guys in the kitchen with me. I urge you to search, look up the history of the Chinese in the Caribbean, especially as it applies to Trinidad and Tobago, Guyana, Cuba, and Jamaica. Irie, give it a try, man. Our best lunch. What's up, soldiers? Don't forget to click subscribe. If you've already clicked subscribe, hit that bell notification thing. I want to all you missing out on the new videos, man. Come on, click.